quick tech video today to uh, show you the easiest way to swap out and replace your U-joints. Whether it's on the trail, in the shop, it's all easy. So uh, stay tuned. Now these are not your average U-joints. These ones happen to be Yukon gear and axles super joints, but it's gonna be pretty much the same whether it's a Yukon joint or cheap and cheery spicer joint. The super joints have a couple things that we have to do that we don't have to do on a super joint or not spicer U joint, but uh, let's get into it and we'll uh, show you the easiest way to take these things apart. The reason I wanted to film this video was uh, when I was taking apart this one. I was looking on YouTube and there was not a single video that I could easily find about taking your U-joints apart. There was a real nice video from Yukon about uh, how to install your U-joints on brand new shiny stuff, but well, when you snap a shaft like that, you gotta take the existing U-joint apart before you can put it back a new one. You'll see here, I already pulled this side apart. Let's uh, do it on the other side because these things are 10 years old and I've not looked inside them in that time. So let's uh, get it open see what it looks like, learn a couple things along the way. Now if you uh, don't have a super joint and you're running just a regular old spicer U-joint, it's uh, gonna be a little bit different. These ones are uh, awfully fancy and awfully expensive. Just means there's a couple more steps along the way. Most of the concepts are exactly the same. So uh, one of the things that's different with these U-joints is they, uh, they have grease caps on each cap. There's no roller bearings in these. And these ones also have C-clips that we have to uh, take off first. Neither of those things you're going to have to do on a uh, spicy U-joint. Take the grease circs out. Let's get these disgusting C-clips off. Gotta love old Pathmaker production shirts. Good old shop rags. We're just real half-ass putting it in the vise to uh, hold it. Now if you don't have a vise on the trail, uh, it's going to be a little harder. Get your stupid buddy to hold it for you. But if you're a real proper island spec kind of guy, then you have a vise on your rig. I don't even have one of those. So the C-clips sit underneath the yoke. C-clips are removed. Now, it's time for one of these tips that I was promising you at the start of this video. Now a lot of guys, they're gonna get a socket, they're gonna drive the cap out. Problem when you do it that way, you gotta move both the caps at the same time, which is, uh, well, it's hard. And uh, you can't use a press, because it'll just deform the uh, yoke, everything like that. So the actual sneaky way of doing this is uh, you sit it on this yoke in the vise, and then you drive the yoke down and the cap will come out one at a time. So right now we're hitting here and you can see this cap started to move. So I just gotta keep hitting it. There we go. 10 year old super joint cap. First time it's ever been off. Now uh, back to something super joint specific and uh, you're not gonna have this problem on a uh, spicer. We gotta get this uh, C clip out of here, which uh, can be a bit of a pain. If anything, this is the uh, worst part of this uh, process. Come on. C clip number one. And you want, as you're sliding it over, if this is right here, you want the ears to come through, and you can slip it off. Time for the next tip. Now, you don't have the yoke on the other side to uh, beat on. You don't want to mess up this crossbar. Doesn't matter what kind of U-joints you have. So uh, what we do, slip the caps back on. We tape them in there. And then we set it in the vise. And the reason for the tape is just so when we start beating on this, the caps uh, don't go flying. And uh, if you got the needle bearings in them, it's even worse. Now we'll uh, get these C-clips out again. There we go. And that 
is how you uh, take a U joint apart, specifically a Yukon super joint. So now we're going to uh, look into how all the stuff is looking. These things are worth about 500 bucks a piece. Crazy. Uh, so we're going to make sure the crossbars aren't super marred and uh, make sure that the uh, O-rings are okay in the caps. I know for 100 Maple Leafs, I can uh, buy myself a new set of caps, O-rings, C-clips. So uh, I might do that. Depends on how everything looks here, but we'll, uh, we'll check her all over. If everything looks good, we'll grease it up, put it all back together. All right, well, we're back at it. We were uh, waiting for the jungle store to uh, bring me some new C-clips. Those arrived. So let's uh, get these super joints back together, back in this thing, so we can go out wheeling. So uh, first step on this uh, process is preloading these crossbars with some uh, anti-seize. That's why I'm wearing gloves, because uh, if you've ever dealt with this stuff before, well, you'll know that it gets on everything. We're gonna put a little bit of this stuff inside the caps, work them around, and then uh, after we get it all mounted up, we'll uh, fill these U-joints uh, properly. There's more stuff you don't have to worry about if you're using standard spicy U-joints, but you do get to uh, stand up all the needle bearings in the grease, which sucks just as much. Now, our next step with these things is you see they got chamfers on the uh, crossbar. So that's supposed to go towards the uh, shaft. So we'll go like this. Put those in. You're just taking this, you're working it around like this. And it really sucks. It's no fun at all. But if you don't get the C-clips in, you're never going to get them in afterwards. So we got the C-clips in. Now it's uh, time to uh, take these caps, get them seated. And now just like when we uh, took them apart, we're going to slip the caps on. Put a little bit of electrical tape to hold them in so we can uh, rest them. Now you don't want to hit directly on the cap, which you probably saw when I was uh, taking the U-joints out. I was hitting here. Don't hit on the cap. Some people put over top and you're taking it apart so you don't uh, nick the edge, but I was a hammer surgeon. We'll half seat that side, flip it around. You want to make sure that you seat it far enough in that you can get the C-clip groove fully visible. Then slip it to the other side. Same thing. Like my hammer face. Now those of you who actually know what you're doing, will realize these are the wrong kind of C-clip players. These are ones for uh, C-clips without holes, but uh, of course, I'm not using the right tools around here. Why would I do that? C-clip seated. Now, before you move on with our life, we want to uh, make sure that it's tight. By doing that, mint. All right. Now let's uh, go grab long side shaft. Do that all again. U joints are in, C 
C-clips are in. Now we just need to uh, put the grease circs in, fill this full of grease, put this thing back together. Now before we hop to the other side and finish it all up, we just wanted to quickly explain what you do if you uh, end up with a tight U-joint. I uh, When I put this side together, it was a little bit tight in this direction, which means that the uh, ears on the yoke were splayed out a little bit, so I pulled this back out, gave it a few hits here on either side, and it uh, tightened up the yoke. Now, it's working great. So let's hop to the other side, get this thing finished up, get back out in the woods. So I'm gonna uh, cut you guys off there, because you don't need to see me struggle with old rusty crap over there, but uh, that's how you uh, swap U-joints, either super joints, a little more involved, spicer joints, a little bit easier, but uh, the process is all the same. Bingo, bango. It's, uh, it's not that hard. So you can do it yourself in the shop, on the trail. Anyways, happy wheeling, everybody. We'll uh, see you next week with some more rock crawl in action. Cheers.